In about 2009, when I met Eric, he told me about the history of his work and his father came up several times and his reverence for his father and his work was a big influence on him. And I saw his work, I was uh, intrigued and impressed and I always wanted to meet his father. I had an opportunity recently when I was in Colorado to visit Lou. This is a man who's a uh, Korean War veteran, like my father. My father served in the Korean War. Lou served in the Korean War and he also did three tours in Vietnam. Lou was born in Rangeley, Colorado, and he spent decades photographing the San Juan Mountains. And over the years I've discussed with Eric, the fact that he spent many, many trips with his father photographing. And this I wanted to get somehow into the portrait in a way that speaks to this history that he has not only with his son, but with the indigenous population of the area. So the San Juan Mountains are known for this green that I wanted to get into this painting as well. That is something that stuck with me, this green that the area is known for. I drove to Colorado to meet this man, a little town called Dolores. And I was immediately impressed by this man's countenance. There was something about him that not only reminded me of my own father, who is a similar age, there was a, a spirit to this man that I just really wanted to paint. So I did some drawings. I spent a whole day with him, talking to him about his own work and I could see how the influence on Eric was born. I got an opportunity to spend time with a man whose life spoke to me so personally because it reminded me of my father and because of this history I have with Eric. So in the course of our conversation, uh, he spoke about the fact that he had photographed hundreds if not thousands of, of portraits of individuals. Walking through his studio I saw these incredible photographs of the southwest, the Four Corners area, indigenous Indian populations and images that just broke my heart, inspired me and created a variety of, of emotions and thoughts. So I did these sketches of him from life. I did a dozen or so sketches and we had this dialogue and this experience together. You know, I'm looking at this bone structure, this man whose face I've painted many, many times before, and I realized it's Eric's face I've painted before. But this is on a different man with a different life experience and seeing life through a different lens. In picking the colors that I was going to use for this portrait, I kind of started with a very uh, a typical process of throwing down a very neutral but transparent red color and blocking it out that way. 
but then I had this idea of a very limited palette so I actually mixed out three colors which I almost never do and decided that these were the three colors I was going to stick with and I pretty much stuck with those throughout the entire painting and they had to do something something to do with the military perhaps or but I wanted to keep the the palette limited and I wanted to keep a certain mystery to this portrait because he continues to be that to me. 